Hey, hi, it's Courtney Thomas. Thanks for hanging out today. Uh, the conversation that I want to have today is about career stuff. It's stuff that I love. Business, career, working life, all that good kind of stuff. And um, it, I had a conversation recently with a friend and it kind of was around this whole concept of like traditional career path and work until you die versus the other side of things that's a little bit more like follow your passion, turn your passion into your profession, all that kind of stuff. And really for me, the conversation is kind of about is it black and white? What's the space in between? Where does it web off of those things? And I would love to hear your thoughts on this. So my friend and I got to talking a little bit. Um, so as a little bit of background, her situation is that she is in a job, which she, in her own words, considers like I'm totally not fulfilled. I'm not even engaged. It pays the bills, helps take care of my family. This is the job that I have. Now, because of that unfulfilled part, she has spent a lot of time in the last several years, like doing a lot of self-development and personal work and all this good kind of stuff um, to kind of try to understand more about like, are there things that I really believe in that I could also do for work, right? So she started a venture, um, a company a few years ago uh, that was a little bit more along those lines. She was doing something that she felt really passionate about, um, really helping people and doing good in the world. Uh, and she did that for I don't know, like a little less than a year. And guess what? It didn't work out. <laughs> she was telling me that like it ended up terrible and it was totally not what she wanted. It was totally not actually how she pictured it to be. It was not how she wanted to be spending her time. And it ended up that it was a better idea for her to let go of that, to stop doing it and reevaluate essentially. Um, which is what we both understood. But then that second part of that conversation was really kind of interesting because she said, you know, that her husband was involved too and he was helping out and he was like, so what, you're just going to quit? Like this was, you know, this big deal to like do this thing you're so passionate about and now you're just going to quit. And she was like, well, but I'm not really quitting. Like, isn't it okay if like it didn't work out? <laughs> I mean, I still have my other job and I'm going to think about, yeah, what are the next steps? Like, what is the next thing that I can do? This wasn't right but do I have to force myself into it? And he was like, well, but I did. <laughs> Cause she was kind of like, do I have to know what I want to be when I grow up? Like, and do I have to stick to that just because I chose it? And you know, his argument was like, yeah, that's what we do. And so we kind of got to talking. And again, this is this whole conversation that I absolutely love to have. And I have it often. I have it often with friends, with people in my personal life, with colleagues, with people I meet at networking events, with clients, absolutely all the time. In fact, a lot of my client work is around this. Like, do we, you know, traditionally our culture has been very focused on this idea of like work until you die, right? Like you choose what you're going to do when you're in high school, you go to college for it, you graduate, you start doing that. And either you stay in the same job specifically for your working life, or you stay in the same industry for your working life, maybe change companies, change locations, things like that. Regardless of whether it brings you joy, fulfills whatever it is that you would like to see as fulfillment in your professional life, um, makes you feel successful, any of that stuff, you just keep doing it, right? So that's one side of things, which you probably can tell I'm not really in that camp, right? Like I probably lean a little bit more toward the follow your passion thing. I certainly now have a job that I am incredibly passionate about. I mean, I'm a coach and that has turned out to be something I'm both very passionate about and also very good at. Like, so, <laughs> I mean, certainly that is also a traditional type of job, right? But um, at the same time though, I also kind of went through this evolution of, you know, when I changed from um, working a corporate job and decided to go into fitness, a million years ago, that was a follow your passion type of thing, right? It was like, holy cow, oh my God, I never thought I would be doing this. Like, this is unbelievable. Like, look at me, I get to do this amazing work and help people improve their lives through health and fitness and all this stuff. And I love it too. And guess what? Seven years later, I actually did not love it at all. <laughs> and so I changed careers again. And luckily the people in my life never questioned that for a second, you know, I mean, 
well, I take that back. Some people were like, well, I mean, are you sure? Do you really not want to do that? Because the business was so successful. I think that was a big part of it. Like, but you really did love it. And I was like, yeah, I did. But again, we grow and change and evolve, right? So like, is it black and white? Is it you have to stick to this and this is your only answer? Um, you know, or do things shift and change and that's okay? It's not quitting it or it's not, um, you know, just giving up on it. It's growing and changing and evolving and maybe fitting into a, a better role, um, you know, even if that takes some growing pains and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, you know, I think there are like little webs that come off of both sides of those things, right? And Again, I don't think I fall into either camp because I understand both sides. Again, I work with a lot of clients who kind of come at it from both sides. And so much of it is less a question of choosing one or the other or defaulting to one or the other. Um, but understanding more about like, why you feel this way, <laughs> you know, and like, oh, I'm passionate about this, but like, what are the practical implications? And also like, this is sucking my soul to death. Uh, but also I'm scared of the other stuff, you know? So again, that's a lot of the, the work that I do now. Um, but you know, it's just very interesting that even, um, that like people from either side or anywhere in between kind of have these things that come up then too, that's like, oh, you know what? You wanted to follow your passion, but it failed. And you know, so that's a terrible thing. And now you should feel guilty about that. Like, really? You know, what's super interesting about that is that, there are so many what a lot of people would consider more traditional, like successful businesses and stuff, especially these days in like tech and things like that. And like, guess what? If you look, quick statistics will say anywhere from 75 to 90% of startups fail. Guess what those people do? They grow, they change, they evolve, they try again, they start an entirely new business. Like people don't usually hit it on the first try. So it's just such an interesting conversation. And I would love to hear one, what your experience has been with this type of process, if you've gone through this in your life at all. Um, I'd love to hear if you have a strong reaction to either side of those things, you know, like the more traditional career path, or no, it is all about like living your life and helping people and yeah, supporting yourself in the ways that you can, but in the ways that make the most sense and align with your values and you know, all that good kind of stuff or like somewhere in between or webbed off of all of those things, some combination thereof. I would just, I would love to hear your take on this conversation. So definitely leave comments. Um, if you are so inclined, as always, feel free to get in touch with me privately. You can always do that through my website. Um, but I really think this is an important, conversation as our working lives evolve, right? Like I'm in my mid thirties and guess what? This is another thing my friend and I were talking about. There's a lot of opportunity with that because guess what? I'm probably going to work for another 40 years, 40 years. And I'm already like mid career. So the conversation itself has to evolve because our working lives are so different and they're so much more extended. So like you're committing to something for not just 25 years anymore, you know, or maybe 30 years, it's much longer than that. And can you reinvent yourself? Can you do something different? Can you have one or two or three more careers during that time? And like, that's, that's great, right? Or again, do you really think that that's a bad idea? Again, I would just love to hear what your thoughts are on the conversation. And if you have any insight that you would love to share with me or anybody else who might be watching, Thanks for hanging out for this one and I will see you next time.